This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creator of Dejo.net. Welcome to an episode of Dejo TV, a show where we talk about all things motion design and visual effects. For our first show, we have a Blender 3 tutorial by Gene Yan online about how to create realistic car animations. This is a very, very awesome in-depth tutorial, technically a part two of a series, so go watch part one first. But this is a fantastic Blender tutorial on how to create some awesome car animations. It's also beginner friendly, and as someone really into cars, I can really appreciate the fine details in this tutorial. He talks about camera animations, setting up buildings, props, building the streets and skyscrapers and lights. He'll go over render settings, adding fucking environment to tie everything together, as well as the integration between DaVinci Resolve and After Effects, adding water droplets and much more. You can also download some free assets as well as some cars and car rigs, and we need more tutorials like this. This is awesome. A really cool tutorial if you want to create car animations, chase scenes, really cool stuff by Gene Yan. Our second story comes from Maxon trainer Ellie Wade, which is actually a part four of an intro series of Redshift by Maxon. And so basically it's about cyberpunk renders. She'll be covering using cyberpunk elements from Kitbash, adding lighting, creating your own materials and setting up some render settings for the scene. She'll cover the render settings advanced tab, including AOVs. She'll talk about HDRI lighting, creating wet textures for asphalt, render can compositing inside After Effects using stuff like object buffers and much more. This is a fantastic video for those diving into Redshift, learning Redshift, and want to create kind of a cyberpunk vibe. It's a very, very cool theme nowadays that everyone's doing. Check out the video as well as the whole series down below, it's free. Our next tutorial is by Fried Pixels. It is about Stardust VDBs, an overview on how to use them within Stardust, the After Effects plugin for particles. You guys already know how I feel about Stardust. It's a very, very powerful modular and node-based particle system. We previously covered another tutorial about how to use VDBs within Stardust. This is just another tutorial on that topic. He breaks down how to render and implement VDBs and volume renderings inside After Effects using the Stardust particle plugin. As far as I know, Stardust is probably the easiest way to implement VDBs inside After Effects. But you know, we're still waiting on Nebula 3D by Video Copilot. Who knows when that will come out? Hopefully very, very soon. Check out the video tutorial down below. The next story is a shameless plug. It is a new product release by us, Creative Dojo. We actually released a cinematic master LUTs. It's a collection of 20 LUTs specifically designed after Hollywood films. So we actually designed these LUTs specifically after specific Hollywood films to mimic their mood, their feel, and to preserve as much skin tone as possible to make it look realistic and natural. So if you want to add that cinematic feel to your wedding films, your short films, or your YouTube videos, check it out down below. It works for Final Cut, After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, pretty much any video application that supports LUTs. Check it out down below. It's very, very affordable and it's on sale right now. Before we cover the other stories, I want to thank our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only platform to create an amazing website which is for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have an amazing theme to choose from, fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support and best of all, if you use promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the digital. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. There's a new After Effects extension for After Effects on AE Scripts by Alan Skimmer, and it's called Automation Toolkit. It's a new extension that lets you create your own custom buttons with its own custom functionality, basically script automations so without having to know JavaScript or Extend Script. And you can use it to kind of boost your workflow and automate things that you have to do manually by hand. There's a drag and drop interface. You can share your automations with others, and there are more than 280 properties and actually you can modify and perform. It's cool because there is a free version with a max limit of 10 automations automations and three categories. And the pro version supports triggering buttons with keyboard shortcuts, shared storage, and some other cool stuff. To be honest, it looks fairly complicated, but it definitely can be useful if you don't have any scripting knowledge. Basically, it's like Apple shortcuts for After Effects scripts with the whole interface and everything. Check it out. Speaking of free, Brawl Studio actually released a new free version of Brawl Studio 2, starting with version 2.7.0 and onwards. You can actually now use the plugin to edit Blackmagic Raw within Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, and After Effects with the basic importer features absolutely for free. There's also a free conversion tool to convert a project between Brawl Studio and the Blackmagic Design Premiere Pro plugin in both ways. And more detail and advanced features are in the paid version, so read more about it down below. Check it out if you are a Blackmagic user. If you're into making maps within After Effects, Boone Love's video made a really cool tutorial on how to create maps like National Geographics right within After Effects using the GeoLayer plugin to do this within After Effects. So you learn how to create these really cool map animations similar to what you see on National Geographics. It kind of reminds me of a Vox type animation for maps. It gives us how to use a plugin to create regional maps, how to set up layer styles and stylizing to make things stand out, creating an animation preset to streamline things, and much more. He also created a second video on how to create maps similar to this with three built-in tools. So check that out if you don't have geo layers. 
And lastly, our friends over at Action VFX released a lot of cool stuff recently. How to create a glowing eye effects tutorial right here on how to track and link everything in Mocha, how to create the glowing eye element, how to create kind of the ignition point using some of the cigarette smoke elements. A lot of cool stuff here. Another tutorial on how to create realistic condensation effects, how to composite surface condensation to create realistic wet glass elements on mirrors, how to use masks to create a hand wiping effect, using adjustment layers to create reflections in the mirror. This is cool because you have to keep your equipment nice and dry, do all the wet foggy condensation stuff in post-production using some of their elements here. And lastly, the last tutorial is for those VFX and compositors out there who want to learn how to remove backgrounds if you're not using a green screen. So this can be kind of tricky. They'll kind of cover how to roto your subjects out if you didn't use a green screen or a blue screen, as well as the best practices on how to do that. This includes the basic workflow of green screening and why people prefer it, how to use the luminous channel of a clip to help key stuff out, how to use the roto brush and how to rotoscope things out when lighting options are limited. So if you're a beginner in VFX and compositing, this is a great beginner tutorial on how to do that within After Effects. Awesome stuff. Pretty much it guys for this video. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. It helps kind of push this video out to more people. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.